So let's travel Hyderabad to Tirupati in this video. The distance from Hyderabad to Tirupati is close to 600 kilometers. Tapur area, so we can consider this as an outskirts for Hyderabad. So here I found Tata charging station. Friends, we have completed a charging of MG ZS EV by using Tata power charging station. This is funny, right? Charging a MG electric car by using Tata power. So to locate all the charging stations, I am using an app called Telio EV. Tata power charging station is not working. Till now I have praised Tata power charging stations, but finally this is not working. Friends, we have entered Karnul city right now and we are at the basement of Sasya hotel. So here we found another Tata power charging station and I found this charging station in the Tata power charging app. So I connected the charging to our MGZS EV and it successfully connected and I have selected 17 kilowatt hour and I have paid for it. How much I paid for it, uh, we'll get to know after the charge completes. So currently our MGZS EV has 29% of the battery and to, to, to complete this 17 kilowatt hour, it's showing 30 minutes estimated time. So we have to wait 30 minutes here and after topping up, we'll start from here and we'll halt at Kadapa at night to get it fully charged and from there we'll go to Tirupati. So let's wait half an hour here and after it completes 60% of the charging, let's start from here and let's head to Kadapa. Friends, currently time is 8 p.m. So uh, a while back, as I said, I charged 17 kilowatt hour to our MGZS EV and that charged me around 360 rupees and 1 kilowatt hour costed me 21 rupees. And after that, I added more 20 kilowatt hour uh, into this app. That means now the charge of this MGZS EV is 89%. Totally, I have charged 37 kilowatt hour here at uh, in the Karnul city. So first, I charged 17 kilowatt hour that costed me 360 rupees. That meant per kilowatt hour costed me 21 rupees and after that i charged another 20 kilowatt hour that costed me total of 420 rupees so by averaging all this per kilowatt hour is costing 21 rupees at tata power charging stations so the next stop is going to be at kadapa so at kadapa we'll top up our mgzs ev again and we'll head back to tirupati friends we came to this petrol bunk which is uh, 75 to 80 kilometers away from the place where we have just now started so there we have charged our mgzs ev electric car and in tata power charging station station app and in Tata power app so this charger has been shown in Nandiala so this is currently I am in Nandiala area so this is the Tata power charging station which is recently installed in this Indian oil petrol bunk but the sad news is it unable to charge our electric car so friends just now when I am going back so I contacted the people here in this petrol bank and uh, they have gave a uh, executive contact number of this Tata power so I contacted him so the executive said that to totally off the vehicle and to lift the gun when you are uh, like when the charger is initiating the charging to the vehicle so I followed the same tips and now the charging station is working and the vehicle is taking its charge so you need to totally switch off your vehicle and when charger is initiating charge to your vehicle so you need to just lift this gun up to a small extent so there is some problem to some of the electric model it seems so that's why he has suggested me to uh, just basically to lift the gun uh, slightly so that the charge will automatically start so I followed those tips and uh, the charger has started its charging so i initiated 18 kilowatt hour of charging so after my charge completes i'll say how much amount i paid and what's the time it took to get it fully charged so this is a charging station of from tata power so basically you can consider this charging station which is in nandial to halt and have your charging friends finally i have reached the tirupati and i am here at the bima's residency hotel so currently I put MGZS EV on charge so yesterday night we have charged this electric car in uh, Indian oil petrol bunk so from there till here now okay the display has got off now the current charging percentage is 23 percent so just now I have plugged in this relax charging station to our MGZS EV so today I am using this charging station from relax electric so there is a dedicated app to access this charging station i downloaded the app i signed in and i have added 700 rupees into that app so there are three options to add uh, to charge in terms of money time and kilowatt hour so i selected the money and added 700 rupees into it and i have selected total 700 rupees charging so this is a similar experience to the petrol so if you give 700 rupees to the petrol bank so they will add 700 rupees petrol 
to our uh, vehicle right so here also i paid 700 rupees to this relux electric so they are topping up the the equal amount of kilowatt hour to 700 rupees to the mgzs ev so the same problem i have faced here which i faced yesterday so first time when i connected the gun it did not uh, started the charging it got disconnected and when i pushed it when i gave a small uh, pressure to this gun so the charger got automatically attached and the charge has been started but uh, how much time does it takes and uh, how many kilowatt hour is giving to me in the 700 rupees it's not showing anywhere either in the app or uh, either in this display after completion of the charge we'll get to know how much kilowatt hour this charging station has gave us and how much time does it took so after completion of the charge i'll update you friends my charging station has been ended just now i paid 700 rupees to this relux electric charging station so for the 700 rupees i got 29.86 kilowatt hour energy to my electric car that means per kilowatt hour i paid 23 point or close to 24 rupees per kilowatt hour so at the tata charging point i paid 21 rupees per kilowatt so here it's 2 rupees expensive than tata power charging stations i started my charging at 7 56 am and ended at 9 am it took one or two minutes to charge this uh, mgzs ev electric car from close to 21 percent to 76 percent so now my car has 76 percent of the battery now let's go to the tirumala temple so there will be a guard section to go to tirumala temple so let's head to the tirumala guard and uh, let's finish that guard and let's end the video there In order to access this charging station, we need to download an app called Go Me EV Charging Station. So I have downloaded the app and I have signed it in that application and I have deposited 350 rupees in it. So now let's uh, test the charging station. Let's take one of the gun attached to our MGZS EV and let's see if this can charge our MGZS EV or not. Friends, we have successfully completed charging by using is this uh, Go Eco charging station. So basically, I added 350 rupees in this application. So it added me a total of 334 rupees after deduction of the GST. So for this 334 rupees, it gave me 11.1 kilowatt hour of current. So that current it gave me in a time of only 25 minutes. As this is a 60 kilowatt charger, within 25 minutes, it's charged 11 kilowatts to our MG ZS EV. So as you can see, this is the invoice regarding to our charging session. So this is a very good news for the people who is traveling to Tirupati on an electric car. Uh, in Tirumala, uh, the top of the hill also you have an electric charging station and there are two guns. This is a 60 kilowatt charging station. This is exactly at uh, F-Type Quarters car parking area. F-Type Quarters car parking. So if anyone of you traveling from any place to Tirumala, you can charge your electric car here. So this is all about the video of Hyderabad to Tirumala on an electric car. So we have successfully used all the major charging stations which are available on the way from Hyderabad to Tirumala. So if any one of you planning from Hyderabad to Tirupati trip and please try to make use of the chargers which I shown in this video. Some chargers are working, some chargers are not working. So it will be based on our luck. So you have to personally go to the charging stations. But one tip I can give you, if any charger is not connecting to your car, please hold the gun tightly like this when the charge is initiated to that car. So that tip I learned yesterday from an Tata agent. And an app called Telio EV has helped me a lot to plan this trip. Or if you are planning a long trip, try to make use of this Telio EV app. And also parallel to it, download Tata Electric Charging Station app. So these both will help you a lot. So that's it for today's video guys. If you found our efforts helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.